welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point 60 meters above the surface of the lake is 30 degrees and the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud in the lake is 60 degrees. Find the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, in triangle ABC, tan theta is equal to perpendicular of base, which is here, AB over BC. And second is, the angle of elevation. Now here, in this diagram, a person is standing at a point A, and he is viewing the object that is lying at the point C. So the line AC will become the line of sight. So the angle BAC, that is this angle, which is formed by the line of sight with the horizontal, is called the angle of elevation of the object from the eye of the observer. So here, this is angle of elevation is angle BAC. And third is the angle of depression. Now here, suppose that a person is standing on the top of the tower AB, that is on the point A, and he is observing an object which is lying at the point C, so the line AC will become the line of sight. So here, the angle CAD, which is formed by the line of sight with the horizontal, is called the angle of depression. So here, the angle of depression is angle CAD. So the angle of depression is the angle when the point is below the horizontal level, that is, the case when we lower our head to look at the point being viewed. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now let AB be the surface of the lake AC be the height of cloud from the surface of the lake and D, which is this point, is the reflection of the cloud, which is at the point C. So D is the reflection of the cloud C. Now let AC is equal to X meters that is, this height of the cloud from the surface of the lake. Therefore, as D is the reflection of the cloud C, therefore, AC will be equal to AD. So, AC is equal to AD as D is the reflection of C, which implies AD is also x meters. Now it is given in the question that the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point 60 meters above the surface of the lake is 30 degrees and the angle of depression of the reflection of the cloud in the lake is 60 degrees. Now let us take a point E above the surface of the lake such that BE is equal to 60 meters and it is given. 
Now using the result of angle of elevation and angle of depression, we get the angle of elevation that is angle C EF is equal to 30 degrees and angle of depression that is the angle D EF is equal to 60 degrees. So we have angle CEF is equal to 30 degrees and angle DEF is equal to 60 degrees. Now from the diagram AF is equal to BE which implies as BE is equal to 60 meters so AF will be also 60 meters. Also AC can be written as AF plus FC. Now AC here is X meters and AF is 60 meters so therefore putting these values here this will be X meters is equal to 60 meters plus FC which further implies FC is equal to X minus 60 meters. Now from the diagram DF can be written as DA plus AF. Now DA is equal to X meters and AF is equal to 60 meters. So putting these values here, this implies DF is equal to X meters plus 60 meters, which is equal to X plus 60 meters. Now let FE is equal to Y meters. Now in triangle FCE by using this result which is given in the key idea tan 30 degrees is equal to perpendicular over base which is FC over FE which implies tan 30 degrees is equal to 1 by root 3 which is equal to FC which is x minus 60 meters so it will be x minus 60 meters over fe which we have taken as y meters this further implies 1 by root 3 is equal to x minus 60 over y which further implies on cross multiplying y is equal to root 3 into x minus 60 the whole meters. Now in triangle DFE tan 60 degrees is equal to perpendicular over base that is DF over FE which implies now tan 60 degrees is root 3 is equal to df now df here is x plus 60 meters so it will be x plus 60 meters over fe now fe is y meters which implies root 3 is equal to x plus 60 over y now putting the value of y here this implies root 3 is equal to x plus 60 all upon root 3 into x minus 60 the whole. On cross multiplying this implies root 3 into root 3 into x minus 60 the whole is equal to x plus 60 which further implies 3 into x minus 60 the whole is equal to x plus 60. This implies 3x minus 180 
is equal to x plus 60, which further implies 3x minus x is equal to 60 plus 180, which implies 2x is equal to 240, which further implies x is equal to 120. Now we have taken AC as the height of the cloud from the surface of the lake and AC is taken as x meters. Therefore, height of the cloud from the surface of the lake is equal to 120 meters. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.